My name is Clara Pullman, and I'm a sophomore at Sky Catholic. And um, this is called Virtually Beating. Caption. I scroll through Facebook. Posts are hoarded in the newly equipped reaction button, just in time for the daily platter of commercialized chaos. My cursor invites itself to a video surrounded by hearts. I'm always in the mood for a tear-jerking wedding proposal video, but instead I see my mom in a woman's face. My sister's hugs in her wrinkled up tissue, my nana in her sunken eyes as she begins with a plea. She's asking me to listen to her son's last text message. Mom, it says, he's got a gun. I just want you to know that I love you. I then realize that this video won't end with that man crying on bended knee. My eyes stayed glued to the screen with an inkling of hope that maybe flowers will burst into the room. The video ends, and my blank screen seems to echo me. I am faced with the like button, along with the irony that someone would like this cinematic sin. These are the nights I shake my head and hug my family. Every retailed reaction from an account can never catch the falling tear of so many crestfallen families. Virtual hearts serve as the bypass machine. Every fricative finger that decides to help without helping is not helping. Phalanges fill fake friendship in comments and cosmopolitan cursors are now activists. Recommended videos for you infect my feed with memorial services, and suddenly I'm a digital support group away from legitimate change. My cursor catches the sickness and opens the 17th anniversary of the Columbine Massacre. Hearts could be hurting, but virtually this video is as loved as the students who left for class April 20th, 1999, and as dead as the students who left for class April 20th, 1999. For the first time in my life, I yearn for the bypass machine to flatline. These events are not money makers, they are real. They are Sharpie on a whiteboard, live as Mariah Carey's New Year's Eve performance. They are happening. And I guess the paradox to this is that I wrote it while watching a Boston Marathon documentary. The mistakes of yesterday make great entertainment today, and that is all we offer as compensation for loss. Hashtags won't change actions, shares won't console a family. I scroll through Facebook in frustration, facing the face of this country's story, this country's book that is writing itself into a frenzy of caps lock emojis and reactions. My cursor tears itself to the logout button, and my virtual heart rings flat, and no one is around to react.